Hi everyone and welcome back to Perima's Kitchen. I am Selena, my daughter Shivaya, and today Shivaya and I are making a classic dish. It's a favorite dish for many and it's our lamb tripe and gram doll. The quantity of lamb tripe I'm using today is approximately 500 to 600 grams. I am going to go through the process, the preparation process, so that if you need any assistance or guidance, this should help. I've washed my tripe thoroughly, I've added a squeeze of lemon juice and now to my pot I'm adding some boiling water. Next I'm adding half a teaspoon of turmeric, a heaped teaspoon of ginger and garlic, a few sticks of cinnamon, And then I also add some bay leaves. The bay leaves will help to tenderize your tripe, your lamb tripe. And then you just need to add some boiling water throughout the cooking process. And then you leave it towards the end so it starts to reduce down. This helps to reduce that couchiness as well as the smell. And don't forget to add two cloves. I'm adding mine now. So once most of the water has evaporated, it is already tender. If you wish to continue boiling it, you can do so. I prefer to let it continue to cook in the chutney so it braises with all that lovely spices and it enhances the flavor of your tripe. I'm going to let my tripe rest and cool down while I'm braising my curry. Once I combine my tripe to the chutney, it will cook further and then I will also add my salt to taste. This is my gram doll. I'm going to be boiling about 250 to 300 grams of gram doll. That's just over a cup. Make sure you wash it properly and remove any stones. I'm now adding my boiling water. So I've added half a teaspoon of turmeric, followed by a couple of cloves of garlic. You can add salt now if you want to, or you can wait till a little bit later. You can also add a pinch of hing if you wish. When it's boiling, just remember it's not going to boil like pea doll. It's not going to dissolve and we don't want it to dissolve. It will still keep its shape. Let's start braising our chutney and once the tripe is ready, we will add it to the chutney. So as soon as your oil is hot, you can start adding your spices. I'm adding a leveled teaspoon of jeera seeds. I will also add some ground jeera powder. Therefore, I've just added a leveled teaspoon of jeera seeds, followed by some green chilies, three green chilies, and my onions. I'm using one onion, which I sliced. Followed by a handful of curry leaves. I'm now adding some cinnamon sticks. So my ground spices are half a teaspoon of jeera powder, cumin powder. That's because I did add jeera seeds. Followed by a teaspoon of roasted dhania powder, coriander powder, followed by half a teaspoon of turmeric. Next, I'm adding my chili powder. I'm adding a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. That's Kashmiri chili powder. And a teaspoon and a half of my Nagya's everyday masala. Next, a teaspoon and a half of crushed ginger and garlic. A 
and then we need everything to fry up in the oil you can turn down your temperature your heat if you wish it only needs a few seconds to release all its flavors and then I'm going to add my jam tomatoes you can add two to three jam tomatoes I'm adding two bay leaves for my garden. You can also add dried bay leaves. And about half a teaspoon of sugar or sweetener of choice. If you want to grate your tomatoes, you can also do that. I've just diced them up today. We want that just to braise, the chutney to break down. We'll give that a few minutes. Once your chutney is ready, we are now ready to add our lamb tripe. And it's reduced a lot, so I didn't add any more water. And it's semi-tender, so it will continue to tenderize while cooking. But now you're adding all that spices in the mix. So it is going to enhance the flavor of your tripe. So we're going to just leave it now to braise further. And then you need to check up on it. It might need some more boiling water. It will start to get dry, so you can add some boiling water now. All these different steps we are covering is to ensure that your tripe is beautifully tender and soft. So we'll leave it now again for a little longer and we're going to move on to our gram doll and check up on it. So the gram doll will start to swell a little as you can see. And what I do is I add my salt now before I add any more boiling water because you are able to easily judge how much of salt you require. So I'm going to add my salt first. And now I will top it up with some boiling water. A reminder that it's not going to dissolve like pea doll. We do want to keep its shape. I've added some more boiling water so the gram doll can continue cooking. We're going to move on to the tripe and come back to the gram doll shortly. Moving on to our lamb tripe. I'm now ready to add some salt. Again, it's easier for me to judge the amount of salt needed once it's reduced. Another option that you may be more comfortable with is once you've combined your tripe with your gram doll, you can then add your salt or do it separately like I have done. And remember less is better, you can always Add more salt later if you require, but you can't really take it out. The tripe is now soft and succulent. Let's see if our gram doll is ready. I'm not adding any more water. I want to check up on my gram doll to make sure it is soft enough. And all you have to do is just press on a few and if it easily breaks down, you're almost there. And remember, it's going to cook further when you add it to the tripe, so it's basically ready. Moving on back to our tripe. I'm now ready to add the gram doll. 
and you can just start scooping your gram doll into your tribe. And then give your tripe and your gram doll a good mix. Once you've mixed it, we are now going to add some more boiling water so it can all cook together. And you can decide if you want to braise it very dry, you can have it dry. If you want a little bit more gravy, you can add extra boiling water. Normally, if I'm serving it with basmati rice, I like a lot of gravy. But today I want it to be braised on a slightly drier side because I am serving it with roti. And then we're going to leave it to cook all together. But you can check up on it now and again just to see if you need any additional boiling water. I don't need any more boiling water. I'm now going to leave the tripe and gram doll to braise on a low heat for a further 10 minutes and then I will be ready to serve. And our tripe and gram doll is ready. I'm going to garnish with some fresh coriander. I myself enjoy eating just a bowl full of tripe and gram doll. If you are following Never Hungry, you can do the same or you can even add a salad if you wish. Alternatively, you can serve your tripe and gram doll with some roti like I'm doing today or some fluffy basmati rice. Thank you and I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. And as usual, all the ingredients used will be found in the drop down description below. Please subscribe, kindly hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is uploaded. Please like and share and your comments are always very welcome. See you again soon in Payma's Kitchen. I am Selena.